Hi guys, welcome back. In the previous lecture, we learned how to define an enum and its constants. We had also covered that these constants can be accessed by using enum name and then dot operator. We also know that Java enums implicitly extend from Java dot lang dot enum class. Let's discuss further. Every constant defined in traffic light to enum is an instance of traffic light to enum only. And we can easily verify this. Go to the test class. Let us use instance of operator and then traffic light to. Save the file, run the program and we get true. As traffic light to enum implicitly extend from java.lang.enum class, hence instance of check for enum class should also be true. Let's try enum, save the file, run the program and we get true. Even instance of check for object should also return true. Save, run the program and as expected true is printed onto the console. According to polymorphism, a supertype reference variable can refer to subtype instance. So we can use an object reference variable to refer to enum constant. Let's try object obj equals traffic light to dot red and it is a valid syntax. But with enums, you will hardly see this syntax. We mostly declare the reference variable of specific enum types as enum are for constants only. Save the file. You will mostly see this kind of declaration. In the previous lecture, in non-enum example, we associated duration with these colors as well. 40 with red, 5 with amber and 60 with green. Let's see how to implement the same behavior in enum. To store the duration value, we need a variable private int duration. Now as we are typing more codes, hence semicolon is necessary over here. It is important to note that enum constant list must be the first item in an enum. If other declarations are present, then they must follow the constant list. We cannot declare variable duration before this constant list. We get compilation error. Undo the changes. We need to now associate the duration values with these constants and it is done when these constants are generated. Remember, these constants are instances of traffic light to enum. And what happens when a Java instance is created? The constructor is invoked. Enums also provide constructors. Constructor has the same name as enum. Let us type the constructor syntax. Traffic light to opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket pass the duration int duration and type the code this dot duration equals duration save the file we are getting compilation error the no argument constructor traffic light 2 is not defined in fact each of these named constants invoke the no argument constructor and as we have provided overloaded constructor java compiler does not add default constructor and hence this error so we need to call the overloaded constructor for red pass duration 40 within round brackets for amber pass 5 and for green pass 60 error is gone save the file now to access the variable duration from outside classes, provide a public getter method. Public int get duration. 
return duration. Note these named constants are within the enum body and these named constants invoke the constructor. You cannot invoke an enum constructor yourself and that is why you cannot use protected or public over here. Public, we get compilation error, only private is permitted. Undo the changes, save the file. Let us now see how to call the get duration method of this enum. Invoking an enum method is same as invoking a method of Java class. Sysout obj dot get duration. Save the file, run the program, and for red, 40 is printed. Because this expression is an instance of traffic light 2, hence we can invoke the get duration method on this expression as well. Let's try sysout traffic light 2 dot amber dot get duration. Save the file, run the program. And for amber, we get 5. Now a question may arise, when does the constructor of enum class invoked? Answer is, the first time you access any constant or method of enum class. Let's verify this. Add a system.out.println statement inside this constructor. Sysout inside traffic light to constructor save the file let me comment all these statements add a new statement sysout traffic light 2 dot green save the file run the program the moment Java runtime executed this statement, it first created three constants by invoking constructor three times. And after that, green is printed onto the console. Apart from accessing constants, even if you invoke a static method of enum, then also enum constants are created. Comment this line. One static method is values. Traffic light two dot values. Save the file, run the program, and constructor is called three times for three constants. Constant creation is one time activity. Later on, if you access enum constants or call static methods, then constructors are not invoked. Add one more statement sysout traffic light 2 dot amber. Save the file, run the program. The constructors were invoked by this statement and not by second statement. Delete the last statement, save the file. As I have used values method, so let us discuss it. Values method returns an array of specified enum type. Over here, it returns an array of traffic light 2 type. Let's refer the returned object by a reference variable of traffic light 2 array type. ARR equals now using this array we can iterate through all the constants of this enum let's use for each loop for traffic light to TL colon ARR let's print constant name and their duration sysout TL dot to string or you can use name method as well plus double quotes colon plus tl dot get duration save the file run the program and we were able to easily get all the constants and their duration it was not possible to iterate through all the string constants defined in traffic light 1 class. So this is another point 
where using enums for creating constants is better than traditional approach of creating static final variables. With this, we have come to an end. I will cover use of enums with switch case block in next lecture. See you there.